So imagine that the botanic add-on and great add-on that have a huge library of trees and vegetation that you can use for create your scenes inside of Blender. And now imagine that this add-on comes with an animation feature. What do you think about that? So let me show you that real quick so you can use this feature as well. Hi, my name is Augusto Cesar, I work with Architecture Visualization and in this video I will show you how the Botanic add-on is going so far with this new update where it comes with a tree animation feature. So just to show you how this add-on is working right now, the basic things that this add-on always had is here. For example, well, quality, the quality is stunning, so you can get a really good result as you can see. Also, it's light on the viewport, so I have a lot of stuff going on here. This scene is not optimized at all and everything is working properly even though I'm using a lot of particle systems and a lot of scattering stuff inside of my scene and a lot of trees uh, for all directions in my scene. But what I would like to show you today is the animation feature. So let me start real quick a new scene. So I will add a new plane. Yep. And this plane will be our ground real quick. And I will add a tree here just to show how it is working. So here we have this tree. Uh, let's grab something smaller actually. Well, let's add another tree. And with this tree, as you can see, all things in this add-on is working as usual. So things on AV are working properly as usual. The tree also works on cycles and it's great, it's gorgeous. The material of the leaves are really, really great. Some assets inside of this library are not that great, but some like those assets here, they are really good. And you can see that the quality is good enough for most of our work in architectural visualization. And well, Botanique has the perfect balance between what? between performance and quality. So if you want to have more quality, you need to cut a little bit on the performance. So the balance of the asset library in this add-on is good enough for me. And I believe it's good for most of my projects. And when I need something to, for my foreground, I usually try a different add-on like the vegetation add-on, which comes with a high quality asset library and don't care too much about optimization, care more about quality. But anyway, talking about animation, it's really, really, really simple. You just need to select your asset and click add animation and done. It's that <laughs> easy as that. You click add animation and you are good to go. Just like that. It's crazy. And as you can see, the animation works really, really well. You can see that the performance is the part that really makes me feel, man, this is amazing how this perform easy and quick in the viewport. This is insane, actually. So this is the part that got me really surprised. And the interesting part is that you can change the presets. For example, I can change it to storm, set a storm and put the strength here in something like 0.5, I, I think. And as soon as you click set, you can see that now the wind is behaving like in the way you expected based on your presets. OK, so you can change for wind, for example, you can increase the strength and increase all those things. And you can see that now the tree is going crazy in all directions. And it's really good to see. It's really gorgeous. So my purpose is to make an animation from this shot here using those features. But I will post this animation in my Instagram account as soon as I can. OK, so you can follow me on Instagram. Link in the description below. OK, and anyway, this is the feature. So the last thing I would like to show you is that you can add those animations to several trees at the same time. For example, I can add here uh, some different types of birds um, like so three different trees at the same time you can select all those trees and click add animation and all those trees will get that animation preset on that so and as you can see also this is really light on the viewport actually you need to remember that as if you have a lot of stuff going on on your viewport for example by duplicating a lot of those trees if you click uh, animation, you can see that the FPS will get a hit. It's totally normal to lost a bit of performance when we have a lot of assets on our screen. But as you can see, there is a lot of assets here and the viewport is basically smooth. So this is the part that really got me surprised because how light is that for an animation? <laughs> this is crazy for me. 
but the big limitation here is that some assets on the library don't have an animation preset. For example, if you come here to plants, you can see that we have a lot of plants. For example, I will add a fern, this fern here. You can see that this is a fern and this fern is the same fern that I'm using in this scene here to cover the ground, as you can see. So there is a lot of those ferns to cover the ground and beautiful, it's beautiful, gorgeous, it's great on EV, great on cycles, all that kind of stuff. But if you click on it and click add animation, nothing will happen because this type of plant does not have an animation preset built in this asset. Maybe they will add it in the future, not sure if they will or not. But anyway, for the trees and huge stuff, things that really take our attention, it's perfect for that kind of stuff, okay? So, if you would like to know more about this add-on, click in the link in the description below and you will know more about the conditions, the price and how you can get this amazing to use on your projects, okay? Which is great for architectural visualization and environment design and those kinds of stuff, okay? Also, what do you think this kind of future worths? Well, let me know in the comments below, okay? Thanks for watching and I will see you in our next video. Bye!